Hi, my name is Henry Egloff and I'm going to show you how to animate an object spinning in Blender 2.8 and also how to export the animation as a seamless loop. So I'm just going to start by creating a new empty document. I'm going to click on the camera icon to view through the camera and I'm just going to click and drag upwards down here to see a little bit more of my timeline. I'm going to go into the dimensions properties and set the frame rate to 30 frames per second. Now you want to think about how long you want your sequence to go for. I'm going to make mine go for three seconds so I'm going to end it on frame 90. And to create the animation you want to click the little record button here with the object that you want to rotate selected press I on the keyboard. I'm going to select the rotation keyframe and I'm going to drag the little slider in the timeline to the end of the sequence. Press I on the keyboard again for rotation. And now I'm going to press N on the keyboard and for the object rotation I'm going to set it to rotate for 360 degrees. So now if I drag my little slider I can see my object rotating. So obviously if you want it to rotate twice you want to do say 720 degrees here multiples of 360 degrees. So if I play my animation and I'm just doing that by pressing spacebar on the keyboard you can see that my object slowly um, speeds up at the start and slows down at the end because by default Blender is applying a motion easing um, you can think about how objects in real life don't tend to start moving at a linear speed. This may be fine depending on what you're after, but what I'm going to do is set it to be a linear movement. So to way, the way to do that is to make sure that you've brought the slider back to the first frame and then click to go into Dope Sheet and under Key set the interpolation mode to linear. And so now if I press play, my object's going to rotate at a constant speed. Now I've got one problem here, and that is that the start frame and the end frame are the same. So if I was to, say, export a movie of this sequence and put it in some program to loop it, there would be a slight glitch every time it would get to the end of the sequence because it would be repeating that frame. Now I'm just going to click here and go back to the timeline. Now... If you move the slider in the timeline, and you can also do this by pressing um, forward and back with keys on the keyboard, you can see that the object is rotating um, by four degrees for each frame. So basically what I need to do is remove the frame at the end. So if you were exporting your animation as a PNG sequence, for example, what you could do is just simply take out the last frame of the sequence. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to set it to end my sequence at frame 89. I'm just going to click and drag on that little keyframe to move it to the 89th frame and then for the for the rotation properties I'm going to set it to 356 degrees. So now if I press play on the, my object's going to spin in a seamless loop. And that's pretty much it. So obviously you can export it as a PNG sequence or as a movie, whatever you like. So just in case you're interested, you might want to go and check out my website. I'm going to be putting um, lots of tutorials on my website and I've got some examples of my 3D modeling work on there. And um, that's all. Thanks. Bye.